So one of the main functional realities of heaven is creativity, conscious creativity. This means unexplored potential, never-ending growth, ongoing doing, fulfilling, creating, sharing. Somebody may call it negative if somebody's creating something exactly opposite than what they're creating. But they'll have to be declaring there's positive in order to declare somebody else's negative. But if they just declare it creating, and the other person de just declares they're creating, and you let people create, what is, is, and what isn't, isn't. And there's room for all of it. See, I don't look at negativity like a lot of people do, because I just don't see it that way. But I see it as polarizing where there's opposites. But I can never really damn one of the opposites because I'm not sure which is north and south or east or west because it circles. So the part that I call east and west, as soon as I change, I've just damned the east and now I'm in the east. But I'm looking at east as further east and west is near. So now I'm damned, pretty soon I end up damning where I started out originally. So why do it? Functionally, it's stupid to do that. But it's not stupid to realize that things are at different ends of a spectrum. I don't know if uh, red on one end and violet on the other end of the color spectrum makes either one of them good or bad. I don't see them polarizing the things in the middle as much as I just see them on a continuum. And I love red when I'm using red, and I love purple when I'm using purple. And I love the yellow when I'm in the yellow. I would imagine that if you bring your energy into impeccability and each one did that, you'd all be in one accord. As soon as somebody diversifies off into their own position of negativity or ego, then naturally we'd have to toss them through the wall. <laughs> or we say in our one accord, we have room for uh, discordance or discord, and that's okay. But it's an okayness that we make because it's an okayness that does truly exist or it can't take place. So it's then recognizing the existence of somebody in discord and saying, if you can do that, then someplace within the spirit, that's okay. And so that's fine with me. And my one accord doesn't allow participation in yours. So you just move away so they can do theirs and you do yours someplace else. And, and if they keep following you with their discord, like their mission is to destroy you, you just make your mission so pure with so many more people that if you're destroyed, your mission goes on. Soon, pretty soon they get the point, how do I kill 10 million people? Somebody in the one accord will turn a discord and do them in. And so you have to do nothing. It's water seeking its own level. It's junk seeking, sewer seeking its own level. It just gravitates to its level. And you just sit there and look at it because if it's allowed in the spirit, then it's okay with you. So far, there's only one thing that's not being allowed in the spirit at this point. That's gravity changing. We're all, we're all still here. They allow us to overcome gravity through propulsion, but not just by a natural flow. So it must be okay that all people have all their experiences with all their levels of consciousness because it's being permitted, it's allowed. And if it's not allowed, there's nothing for me to say about it because spirit will stop it, like gravity. But so far, the Lord of creation says, you're still choosing. And the footnote is choose wisely, not choose egoically, not choose emotionally, not choose mentally, but maybe go to all those to get your information and then take it to God and say, God, if you were choosing, what would you choose? And then take that choice because that's going to be the eternal choice. <laughs>